Hey, how's everybody doing? Time for a new video. This time we're going to be doing something different. I was thinking about putting these in uh, the mystery box I'm making, but apparently uh, I opened up the box and, well, these suckers are huge. Look at how big they are. They're not going to fit in the box. So I decided, you know what? I got three. I got actually got four of these boxes. I'm going to keep three of them sealed and we're going to open one for you guys see what they look like. They're very cool. I saw a couple uh, pictures on the internet and stuff. And apparently you get one, uh, you'll get one refractor per one refractor per box, as you can see there, with the parallel. So you can read that one in 12. So I figured, you know, let's just bust it open and see what kind of goodies we can pull. Originally, I was going to add these to the, but they're just a little too big. So let's see if we can mix these up a little bit. And let's see what kind of goodies we can pull out of here. So let's see, get, let's see hopefully we don't get the refractor right off the bat. That would kind of, well, of course, I don't mind if we get a messed up one where every pack has a refractor in it. That would be cool. Now comes the fun part, seeing how to open these darn things. I don't want to damage the cards. These are from 1998, and hopefully there is no bricking. Let's see what we got on here. They get three cards per pack. They get 36 in the whole box. There we go. So we can do this without hurting the cards. Oh, these are cool. Oh, these are freaking sweet. Look at that. We got a Jose Cruz Jr. Very nice. Look at how big these suckers are compared to a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Look at how huge they are. Nice, and it does look like there is a little bit of bricking. So let's see if we can get that off without any paper loss. Ouch. Nice, Albert Bell. Okay, I don't see any paper loss. Here's the back. That's one huge card. And let's see, I don't think we got the refractor. Oh, ooh, nice, Andrew Jones. Very nice, I'll take that. That's the best one so far. Alrighty, and Albert Bell's good too. Let's see if we can, hopefully I can get this. I'm surprised didn't put like a little... A little thing in the corner we could open them up a little easier. Don't want to risk damaging the cards. These suckers are hard to open. Look at how expensive they were. They were five dollars a pack. That was, that was probably about like nine, ten dollars a pack now. If you adjust for inflation and whatnot, close to double. So these definitely were not cheap. And of course it's sticking. There we go. Oh no marker. Garcia Pier, Garcia Pier, yeah, I can't say his name. I always mess it up. Nice, Andy Pettit, very cool, awesome, very cool cards there. Ooh, an A Rod, nice. Too bad that wasn't the. Wish that would have been the Chrome, uh, what do you call it, the Chrome Refractor. So that's the best one out of that pack. Very nice. Sorry, these are a little tricky to open up. They are a real pain to be home. I don't want to use scissors and risk risk damaging any of the cards. But so far, so good. I'm not hurting any of the corners. There we go. Oh, gosh, some of these are pain in the butt. Yeah, sorry to spoil the bottom one there to Larry Walker. I don't, I don't want to risk damaging the cards. So, we, ooh, oh, we did get the A Rod. Nice. I asked for it and I received. Nice. We got the A Rod Refractor. That is sweet. And of course, you can see right there it says Refractor. That is definitely a big, big pull there. Nice. That's the first, I think that's the only second time I ever said, oh, it would be nice if I got this person and actually pulled it. So that's pretty much the hit of the box. Very nice. Oh, we got Gwyn right behind it. Awesome. And then Larry Walker. Nice. Yeah, this one definitely wins. So let's put those over there. I'll put the A-Rod, sadly nothing to put them in. Look at how white it is, though. So nice. I will definitely take that. I'll take an a -roid. Now, of course, she's not in the Hall of Fame, which never will be, because of all the steroids. But, hey, I'll take that any day. That's a cool, cool card to pull. Oh, that's cool. Look at Vladdy. <laughs> that's great, Vladdy Sr. Nice. So, you can, so far, so so far, not too bad. They're pulling off pretty easily. Move on. Very nice. I love how we get a glasses. It definitely gives it a little 3D look to it. And our final one. Oh, nice. The big hurt. Nice. Sweet Frank Thomas. Look at all look at all the freaking weeding he was doing. He was killing it. Nice. So it seems you get one really good one. Some of them have a whole bunch of good ones, but you're at least getting seems like you're getting at least one really good card per pack. So that's pretty sweet. We do this right way. There we go. And looks like my Mets are actually starting to win again. We were doing really bad for a while. And the Yankees are coming out of nowhere now. And of course, good old Good old, what's his name? Good old uh, Aaron Judge is uh, hitting homers, so that's good. He, he's on his way of breaking 
breaking the AL record of 61, so that's sweet. We got Chipper Jones, awesome. Ooh, nice, Slam and Sammy. Sammy Sosa, sweet. The only thing we're missing is, uh, only missing, uh, what's his name? Barry Bonds <laughs> and Mark McGuire. Nice, Tony Clark. Speaking of home run, home run hitters, make sure that's not too... So the best one out of here, eh, I would say, I don't know. I'm going to have to give it to Jones, nothing against... Not against Sosa there. He was a great player, but he only had like he had only like two or three standout seasons. And Trevor Jones had a lot of a lot of big seasons. And wow, I, I tore that one the wrong way. So we could do this without just without hurting the cards. Oh, thank God there's only 12 packs and not 24. 36. Take forever to open them all up. And let's see. Do this this way. So we don't hurt the corners. There we go. And pull it from the top, our side. Nice. Oh, we got Barry Bond. Speaking of, sweet. I think uh, this whole set, I think, is all ma main, mainly major players. Because I haven't seen anybody really that's like nobody. Look at that. You got Ripken. Nice. Ripken is a Hall of Famer. Barry Bonds, maybe someday, but the whole steroids is really going to hurt him. Oh, and he got a Bishy. Oh, nice. But I'm going to say the best one's definitely the Bonds. I love that metallic. That is so cool. But you can see a little bit of... See how they're like, there's a little bit of a... When it's stuck to the, the plastic. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool there. Nice nice cards. Probably not that hard to build a whole set. There we go. And these are usually gone on for about 125 bucks. So they're not cheap. But they're not super expensive. They're almost standard. Yeah, they're pretty close to... Probably almost right about what they'd be if they were to buy them today. If they were to retail today, they'd be about $10 a pack. So about 120 a box. But no fanatics, they'd probably make them $29.99 a pack or something. Oh, nice. Barry Larkin. Love that red. That fits with the, definitely fits with the uniform there. Being the good old Cincinnati Reds. And nice. Scott Rowland. Cool. Very nice. Good old Phillies. And our last one. Oh, nice. A one gone. Nice. Not his rookie by far, because his rookie was 90. Very cool. 89.90. Nice. Awesome. So I'll put that there. And we're down to one, two, three, four, about five left. It's not bad. Definitely. I'm glad we got a good, 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 good uh, refractor there. There we go. And let's see if we can do this. There we go. We got Bagwell. Very nice. Love that. Love that shine on there. And our last one. Ooh, Piazza. That one might be the winner. All depends on who's underneath all bags. So, yep. Ryan Colesco. Yeah, we're definitely going to give this one to Piazza. That's a pretty early Piazza card. That's what, fifth year? Fifth or sixth year? Very nice. So, I like that. You're at least getting one Hall of Famer or star player at minimum per pack. There we go. And now this one's giving me a pain in the butt problem. And let's see if I can do this without hurting the cards. Hate to use these old scissors, but if we can get a start on it. There we go. Link. Put that over there. There we go. Oh, we did it. Oh, nice. That Randy Johnson? Yes, it is. Good old bird killer. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, Joe, sorry, Johnson, you're going to have to be pushed to the back. Jeter's definitely going to take that one. Imagining that one as a as a refractor, that would really would be sick. So Jeter definitely wins that one. And we got Sheffield. This was, what, his third, third regular? Let's see, yeah, third regular season. Nice. Awesome, awesome. I think 95, 96 was his first regular card. 93 was his first card. Of course, good old... Card 99 from the 93 set. Well, that one opened up pretty easily. Wish they all opened this easy. Nice. The Deo Nomo. Awesome. And the back card is... Ooh, an I-Rod. Okay, that might be the best one. Let's see who's underneath. Oh, nice. Tino Martinez. Nice. Uh, I think I'm going to have to give it to Tino on this one. Sorry, I-Rod. We're going to give that to Tino. He won that one. But I think so far, besides that refractor, the Jeter is probably the best one. And now this is going to problems again. Let's see if we can get it from the bottom. Go just the right way. See it starting to open. There we go. And do this 
So we don't reveal the player. That would kind of stink, take the fun out of it. Ooh, we got Griffey. Nice. Now I gotta say it's between Griffey and Jeter is the two best. Nice. I will definitely take the kid. That's a guaranteed win. Oh, and McGuire. Nice. So there we go. There's the McGuire and the Sosa. That was oh, this was the year they were doing that home run thing too. Helton, very nice. So Griffey definitely wins that one. There we go. Now it's tough. It's either Griffey or the Jeter. I think I'm still gonna have to go with Jeter with a Griff with a Griffey right on his tail. And they're, they're basically a tie. Jeter just inching it out by just like a, a pixel, basically. Like if it was a 10,000 point race, it would be like 10,000 for 10,000 for Jeter, 9,999 for for good old Griffey. They're just that close. It's just Griffey that had some World Series wins. And it was nice to the Mariners finally win one. Nice, got Bernie Williams, awesome. No damage to the corners, even after all that ruffling. Very cool. And Greg Maddox. Awesome. And our final one is nice. Clemens. Nice. Interesting to see him in a, in a Blue Jays outfit. It looks so weird. I'm used to seeing him in either the Red Sox or the Yankees. Very nice. There we go. So there's all the good cards there. We got 36 of them. Nice. With the best, of course, being, being the good old A-Rod Refractor. Awesome. It's got a weird film on it. I'm not going to touch that. And the centering you can see is a little off. Looks like it's a little more this way. So centering is a little off on that one. But I will definitely take that. And we had some great players. Good old Griffey. Latino. Jeter. Nice. Piazza. Awesome. Long gone. Good old Barry Bonds. Chipper. And good old the Big Hurt, Frank Thomas. A-Rod, the regular one. And Andrew Jones with the all-star rookie on it. Which is pretty sweet. One, just one year shy of his actual rookie card. So hope you guys enjoyed that. And pretty interesting, interesting box to say the least. I definitely enjoyed it. That was going to be the fun part with the store views. are so huge. So feel free to subscribe if you're new. And hit the bell, you know, because you never know when we're going to just do stuff like this. And let me know what you think of it. Toss a comment and thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And have a great day. Bye-bye.